If your Husqvarna product is equipped with a two-stroke engine, it must always be run using a mixture of gasoline and two-stroke oil. When mixing fuel, even small inaccuracies can drastically affect the ratio of the mixture. Never refuel the machine while the engine is running or is hot from recent use, and always make sure your fueling area has plenty of ventilation. After refueling, move the machine at least 10 feet from the refueling point before starting it. Never start the machine if you have spilled fuel on the machine. Wipe off spillage and allow remaining fuel to evaporate before use. Never start the machine if you have spilled fuel on yourself or your clothes. Because all engines equipped with catalytic converters must be run on unleaded fuel mixtures, it's important that you choose good quality unleaded gasoline. Leaded gasoline will destroy your product's catalytic converter, causing it to no longer function properly. While the manual says you can use 87 octane, you should use at least 89 octane in order to prevent knocking, a condition caused by high engine temperature and increased bearing load, sometimes resulting in serious engine damage. For best results, use Husqvarna brand two-stroke engine oil that is FD certified. This oil is specially formulated for our air-cooled two-stroke engines. All Husqvarna products use a 50 to 1 mix which means 2.6 ounces of oil are used to one gallon of gas. Husqvarna two-stroke oil comes in convenient bottles that are easily added to one gallon of gas with no measuring required. Never use two-stroke oil intended for water-cooled engines, such as TCW3, sometimes referred to as outboard oil. When mixing, never attempt to mix the oil with the fuel in the gas tank on the unit. Always mix gasoline and oil in a clean container intended for fuel. Start by filling half the amount of the gasoline to be used. Then, add the entire amount of two-stroke oil. Shake the fuel mixture for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Add the remaining amount of gasoline and reshake for 10 to 15 additional seconds. Next, Untwist and remove the fuel cap. Pour the fuel into the tank to 80% of capacity. When finished, fasten the fuel cap securely and wipe up any fuel spillage around the unit. Do not mix more than one month's supply of fuel at a time. If the machine is going to be stored for an extended length of time, the fuel tank should be emptied and cleaned. Proper lubrication not only extends the life of your Husqvarna product, but it also helps prevent the chain from breaking, which could lead to serious or fatal injuries. Start by checking your chain oil. Chain oil must demonstrate good adhesion to the chain and also maintain its flow characteristics regardless of whether it is warm summer or cold winter weather. As a chainsaw manufacturer, we have developed optimal chain oil. Use this oil in order to maximize chain life and also minimize environmental damage. If our own chain oil is not available, Make sure you use an oil specifically designed for bar and chains. Never use waste oil, which can be dangerous to you, damage the oil pump in the machine, and also harm the environment. All of our chainsaws have an automatic chain lubrication system. On some models, the oil flow is also adjustable. The saw chain oil tank and the fuel tank are designed so that the fuel runs out before the chain oil. However, this safety feature requires that you use the correct oil. If the oil is too thin, it will run out before the fuel.